Example number two, when we have two absolute values, so first is equal to second. Okay, so just take out the absolute value for the uh, first situation. Or the second part is you will have to solve first is equal to uh, the negative of the second absolute value. Okay. So I have that here, two absolute values. First step, just write down the equations phi x minus one equals to this is the phi x minus one equals to x minus five. Nothing change, but I just take out the absolute value, right? We just need to take out the absolute value. Or the second part that we have to do is, well, you keep this. Ah, phi x minus one. But then you want to make this equal to. Let's look at the second uh, absolute value, and look at the inside. But I want to put a negative parentheses first, and then put down this in here. So it will be the inside of the first absolute value, but that's equal to the negative of the second um, absolute value, right? The inside of the second absolute value. Just like that. So two questions. Get to work. Solve it. We are done. So here, let's see. Uh, let's put all the x to the left hand side. Minus x on both sides. So these two cancels out. I get five x minus x is four x uh, minus one is equal to minus five. Then here, I have four x minus one is equal to negative five. I can add one on both sides. Add one on both sides. These two cancels out. I get four x right here. It's equal to negative five plus one, which is negative four. Four times x is equal to negative four. Divide both sides by four, and I will end up with x is equal to negative one. Okay. And for the second part, for the second part. That we have to do right here is, I see a negative and a parenthesis like that. We have to distribute the negative inside. Okay, so let me write down phi x minus one first. Nothing changed here, but then that will equal to negative x. And the negative distribute with a negative five, we get plus five. Okay, then let's add x on both sides. And so this x. 5x plus x, we get 6x, and then minus 1 is equal to、um, positive 5. So 6x minus 1 is equal to、um, 5. Let's add 1 on both sides. Cancel this out, and here I get 6x is equal to 5 plus 1, which is again 6. Right? Then divide both sides by 6. Cancel, cancel. X is equal to six over six, which is just one. So in this question, we end up with x is equal to negative one, or x can also be equal to positive one. Two solutions for this answer,、uh, for this question.